Yeah, hello again everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Boss! Yep, this month's Battle Pass tank is called the Dreadnought. Well, some of you may not know this, but the Dreadnought is actually a World War I battleship. Yeah, so, work it out. Fascinating. And this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about the Dreadnought. No way! Basically, it's a Churchill game carrier. I mean, gun carrier. Albeit, it looks different and it handles it a little bit differently. Looks wise, it's more of a, well, some of you may think it's a Mark 1, it's actually a Mark 4, a World War I British Tonk. That's the hull. With the game carrier's casemate married to it. However, I think it looks a lot like the fictional tank from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Hey, I, that's what I think. What? So what do you actually need to know about it? Well, if you have a battle pass, then basically it's free. Are you serious? Yeah, that's right. It's a free tank. Does it have any armor? Mm, sort of. Uh, on second thought, no, not really, no, no. It also has a gun, and it sits in tier six. It's a TD, which means that the vast majority of the player base will camp in it. Of course. Which, considering its speed, it actually looks like it's camping even when it's moving. The gun is nice. It fires things. And if it penetrates other tanks, it will hurt those other tanks. It has a funky camo. Well, I think it's funky. And I... And if I didn't already mention it, it's basically free. Now, let's be honest here. It's not a tank you're going to be rolling out in every single day. No! No, 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 no! But it's a bit of fun and it's free! And I'm not sure I already mentioned that, but maybe I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many bemoan the battle passes. It's not really about the tanks, let's be honest here. The battle pass offers a lot more than that. And for their price, I think they're good value, really. Plus, you actually get two tanks for free and the possibility of getting some others if you complete the entire thing and you're lucky enough to get something drop in your little box at the end, although it's unlikely to be an AE Phase 1. <laughs> That's really all you need to know about the Dreadnought. I mean, I could sit here and bestow all its pros and cons, but what's the point? Either you have it in the Battle Pass and you'll find out for yourself what the tank's all about, or you don't have the Battle Pass and you're missing out on a lot more than an Indiana Jones tank. Anyway. I've been Fugit. By all means, comment and like and everything below. And until the next time, guys, remember, it's just a game. So stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because that's what it's all about. Having fun. Being happy.